Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be driving through some of the what you would call uptown upper St. Andrew, the uptown area of St. Andrew. Also, you probably call it the uptown area of Kingston. So we are currently in Russell Heights, which is just on the outskirts of Barbican, and we're heading towards Cherry Gardens. And then from Cherry Gardens, we'll head towards Norbrook and then head towards Manor Park. So we just turned off Barbican Road and we are now on Russell Heights Road. As you can see, some very nice homes on the left and on the right. And recently they started to put in the sleeping policemen. You'll see them soon. It's it's um so to stop people from speeding through the areas. Okay, so we're now in Cherry Gardens. We actually passed the sleeping policemen. So this is now the Cherry Gardens area, but we are still on the Russell Heights main road. On the right, we just passed the Cherry Gardens Great House. So on the left and on the right, these are the Cherry Gardens homes. Very nice homes. And Cherry Gardens is one of the top neighborhoods in Jamaica. Okay, we're now on Carmel Road heading towards Norbrook. If we turn right here, we go on to Upper Carmel. And we're going to come upon some more sleeping policemen. So, Russell Heights has some and Cherry Gardens has some. It's a new in thing now to stop persons from speeding through the neighborhoods. It's not the government that um, puts in these sleeping policemen. This is one we're going over now. It's actually the residents or the associations that put in these sleeping policemen. <coughs> As you can see, very nice homes. And this is why Cherry Gardens is one of the top neighborhoods. Okay, if we turn right here, we go on to Upper Markway and that takes us to Hillel, the school, which is a very popular school in Jamaica. Okay, we're now coming up to the intersection with Shortwood Road. If we turn left, we take Shortwood Road and head back towards Olivier Road or the Shortwood Teachers College. And if we turn right, we would take Shortwood Road down to the Benson Fording, which is a gully. And then that way, once we go through the fording, we will go into Norbrook. So if we go we continue straight, we'd go into the Shortwood area. But we're turning here, and this is the gully we're talking about. It's called Benson Fording. And on the left, you see a very large open lot. I'm not sure how much you can see of it, but um, it was recently purchased, and they're going to build apartments over there. I think I said it was like 300 apartments. And the persons in the area were like, that's going to create traffic problems. Nepal was doing some... The persons actually... Okay, we're now in Norbrook. This is now Benson Avenue that we're on. It was when Nepal came to do an environmental study that persons realized that they were going to be building apartments on that lot. And persons were objecting, but I'm not sure. I don't think anything came out of it. And the apartment should start soon. They were objecting because the apartments would bring so many more people to the neighborhood and the roads would be congested in the morning and those kind of things traffic those kind of things all right so this is Norbrook very nice homes Norbrook is also one of the top neighborhoods in Jamaica it's um, in the top five the top three I know for sure are Cherry Gardens, Jacks Hill, Millsboro those three always alternate among the top three. Norbrook is always in the top five. It's a very nice neighborhood. Okay, we're now going on to Norbrook Drive. If we turn left, we take Norbrook Drive back down to Olivia Road and come up at Emmanuel School. But we're going to go right and take Norbrook Road up to Manor Park. So 
so this is also a very nice neighborhood they actually have nicer roads than the cherry gardens and russell heights area as you can see this main road here it's very nice painted well maintained when we inquired about why norbrook has such nice roads and the other areas don't we were told the councillor for norbrook is the one who got this road done not it's a different council for norbrook than from cherry gardens than for cherry gardens sorry so that's why this road looks so nice and the other road doesn't okay we're coming up to an intersection now which would take us into norbrook hills where that motorbike is coming from if you turn right you go up into norbrook hills You can see a lot of construction going on here on the left and on the right. The, the new norm is to buy the house in this area, tear it down and build townhouses or apartments. A lot of construction like this has been going on in the area. Okay, on the left where you saw that black grill fence, metal fence, that's the back of the Constant Spring Golf Club. We're driving through Norbrook heading towards Manor Park. As we mentioned earlier, very nice road, no potholes, and some very nice homes. Now you can see the lots are very big, so that's why this area persons uh, or contractors, developers love to buy these homes and turn tear down the existing structure and build apartments or townhouses. And as, as we said earlier, Norbrook is one of the top neighborhoods, so the apartments and townhouses sell very easily. On the right, you can see construction going on. It looks like two different developments. Some areas don't allow apartments, like a certain part of Jacks Hill doesn't allow apartments, certain parts of Cherry Gardens doesn't allow apartments. So Norbrook apparently does because there are so many. See another zinc fence there, a lot of construction going on in Jamaica. In the construction industry, it's a booming industry in Jamaica. Alright guys, we're now coming up to Manor Park, remember to... Thanks for watching, remember to like, share and subscribe. Have a good day.